Hey you, are you doing things on your MacBook that need some privacy? Well, I may not know exactly what you're doing, but this could probably help. This is a magnetic screen protector. Yes, you heard me, magnetic. And it's from a brand called Mamol. 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 They were kind enough to sponsor today's video. With that being said, everything that I say in this video are my own thoughts and opinions. The unboxing experience is straightforward. I always worry when getting flat packages like large screen protectors and skins because they're not supposed to be bent. And somehow my mail person likes bending my packages, but this one arrived in pretty good condition to my surprise. Inside, you get a little instruction pamphlet, which is actually really useful. A packet with a microfiber cloth with some washable gel tabs, another packet with an alcohol prep pad, an additional cleaning cloth, and a dust removal sticker, and the magnetic screen protector itself that comes inside a plastic storage folder. The folder is great. They know that some people probably won't have this thing on their MacBook 24-7, myself included, so it's nice to have this plastic folder to store the screen protector when not in use. It's not the most rigid thing in the world, but it's definitely going to protect the screen protector. Kind of ironic, huh? Protecting the screen protector. So the screen protector is compatible with the newer M2 MacBook Pros as you can see here, and it offers multiple benefits to using one. The first thing that you're gonna notice is that it's anti-glare, which I absolutely love. Don't get me wrong, I love the display of the MacBook Pro so much. Honestly, the best display that I own. But if I'm not doing anything too intense like photo or video editing where I need the color accuracy, then I'd rather have the screen protector on. However, I personally don't leave it on 24 seven, but you can if you wanted to. After I'm finished using my laptop, I put the screen protector in its little storage folder, and then I'm on my way. Sure, it's a little extra step to do, but I think it's worth it. This thing is also great to use in a coffee shop or somewhere public, where you don't want anyone to see what you're doing, weirdo. You can also leave it on whenever you use your MacBook in addition to privacy, because it offers some eye protection as well. It actually filters out blue light, which reduces strain on your eyes. And what more does a screen protector do? Well, it's in its name, but you probably already knew that. This thing is gonna protect your screen from dust and scratches over time. Psst, come here. Let me tell you a little tip. Okay, two tips. If you notice your screen protector isn't completely flat, just flip it over. It'll still work, and that'll usually do the trick. In addition to that, you also have the washable gel tabs, just in case. The other tip is if you're not using the gel tabs, and want to take off the screen protector quickly, all you have to do is put the screen down a little bit and the bottom part of the screen protector will just open up. So you can easily take it, put it in its storage folder, and you're good to go. So something that's a given with privacy screen protectors is that it will reduce the brightness of your display just a little. That's just how it is. And I just wanted to point it out if you're a person like me that doesn't generally use privacy screen protectors. And that's really all there is to it. Use it when you want, there's a bunch of benefits to using one, and it reduces eye strain. Again, I'll leave a link in the description if you're interested. Here's my unboxing and first impressions of the M2 Max MacBook Pro if you're interested. If you found this video helpful, you know what to do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.